Okay, so I'm going to play the game. Uh, this is tutorial six. Uh, so we've I've opened it up and I'm gonna run the game and see where we're at. And it looks like I can move up, down, left, right. Uh, doesn't look like I can shoot. The enemy doesn't appear to be killing me and the enemy is not moving. So I'm gonna close that. It looks like we have a version of the game that's running. And our first thing to do is to create a new behavior design mode actor behavior and call it shooting and attach it to the actor type so my guess is we were going to take this bullet and attach it to the hero so I'm going to create an, a behavior I'm going to click it right here I'm going to call this shooting, shooting. now here's the, here's the deal with shooting um, first of all we have to attach it to the the actor type and it needs to be attached to the hero so I'm just going to attach this to the hero real quick and go to OK. Now let's edit this behavior and according to the rules we want to add a keyboard event that fires when action 1 is pressed action 1 being the spacebar it's going to play sound create a bullet in front of the hero assign the bullet in XY speed based on the direction that the hero is facing all right, so this looks fairly straightforward. We're going to have to um, build this from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to add an event. Uh, let's see, probably input keyboard. And in the instructions, it needs to be action one is pressed. So we're going to choose the control. Action one is one of them. So it looks like we have left, right, up, down, swap, and action one that are part of this package in the pre-made code. All right, so when action one is pressed, according to the instructions, we want to play a sound. So we're going to have to figure out where sound is. And I think we're going to want this sound right here. And let's see. I guess we will use sound effect. Now, if you're going to be exporting in HTML, this might not uh, export depending if it's MP3 or WAV. So for right now, for demonstrative purposes, um, we'll just leave this in uh, knowing that we might have to take it out later. Okay, and now according to the instructions, we need to create a bullet actor in front of the hero. So let's go to create and this will happen after the sound is is made and we're going to create a bullet at um, wherever so we're going to see we're talking about the actor now so this is going to be uh, the X and the Y of of the actor of, of the hero so this will probably be at the X of self and also the Y coordinate will be Y of self, so let's change that to Y. Now let's uh, let's play it and see if we've done done it well. So I'm going to turn my volume up. I can still move up, down, left, right. I haven't broken anything. And whenever I hit spacebar, a bullet appears and it makes a noise. So I think we've done that right. So check we've create played a sound we've created a bullet now we have to assign it an xy speed based on the direction the hero is facing and the hint is based this on the hero's animation state uh, now this tip is, is a very very good tip that just says um, build this behavior a little bit at a time and continually test until it works correctly that's just good advice for uh, any any coding exercise Okay, so as we're creating the bullets, we're going to have to uh, understand that there's four different scenarios if the hero is facing up, down, left, or right. And it's always a challenge to remember which one is 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180, 270. Um, so what I would recommend doing is creating one instance, seeing if we get it right, and then if we do, we can move, move on. So let's see. If... We're gonna need to know which direction we're facing. So, all right. So in actors, uh, I think it's probably under drawing. 
we want to know if the current animation for the self is up. So let's say if the current animation for self is up, then we need to set the velocity of the bullet, um, which would be the last created actor. Okay, so let's see, set velocity to. So let's set the velocity to in the direction, I don't know if that's gonna be 90, 180, 270 or, or zero. So I'm gonna test it right now at 270 because I think that's what it might be. And again, I'll, I'll try playing it right now. And let's set it at a speed of 60. And that's actually not gonna be for the self, that's gonna be for the last created actor, which would be the bullet. All right, so let's play this and see if we got the 270 rate. All right, so here we are running. And now if we've done it right, that's up. I hit space, all right. Notice that if I'm left, right, or down, that doesn't happen. So up is 270. All right, good to know. So now we can continue building this out, and I'm just gonna show this in fast motion as I do this. Oh, and j just uh, let me interrupt for a second. I'm getting the actual words up, down, left, right, because the hero in the appearance has up, down, left, right. So that that's where these words are coming from. All right, now we're gonna have to kind of do some math and figure up uh, which left and right and down is as far as heading. Um, so if we're at 270 for up, then, then this should be 90. And if that's true, then 180 should be left, and zero should be right. So let's see if we got that. Okay, here we are. I'm going to face right, did it, face left, up we already know works, down works. All right, sweet. So the first task in here, assign the bullet and XY speed based on the direction the hero is facing, we have done that. So now we need to do enemy health, and then we're done. All right, so I'm going to close shooting because I think we're done with shooting. I'm gonna close hero two. Step three, create new in the top toolbar, create, uh, call it health. So this is gonna be a behavior called health. We have to give it a number attribute as well called health points and attach it to the enemy. So in the actor behaviors, I'm going to call this health I'm also going to attach this to the enemy and we do need to give an attribute uh, I believe it was called health points and health points is, is also a number okay so I'm going to take a peek at the next instructions. Complete behavior by programming to do the following. Decrease the actor's health points when it's hit. Uh, presumably we'll decrease it by one. And when it's less than or equal to zero, the actor gets killed. Okay, to do this, we're gonna need to add an event. So let's do a type and type because we can specify um, the bullet enemy that's actually probably a little bit better um, so now we need to set the health points to we have to reduce it by one uh, and then kill kill the enemy uh, if they don't have enough health so we'll go to the palette and let's go to the attributes first so when that bullet hits the enemy we want to set the points to uh, whatever whatever the health points are um, minus one so I guess we're gonna need to do some mathematics here uh, 
and if we wanted to, we could actually create an attribute called like bullet damage. Um, actually, that might be a fun little thing to do. Let's do that. Make this a number. And then we'll subtract the current health by bullet damage. Um, and before I forget, I'm going to save this. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open up the enemy. And let's set the bullet damage to one just for now. Um, and we'll do the health points. Oh, I don't know. Five. So the, the bad guy can get hit, hit with five. So I'm going to save that. And in the meantime, I'm going to open up health again. All right. And the, now let's finish this. So if the health points is less than or equal to zero, so we'll have to do some math. And again, you get to pick your poison here. You could do less than or equal to zero or um, less than one, uh, assuming it's going to be all integers. So let me get the, if the health points is less than or equal to zero, then we need to kill a second actor. All right, so let's see what this looks like. Um, and again, actually right before, let me just run through this. So when a bullet hits an enemy, and the bullet is the first actor, the enemy is the second actor, we're gonna set the health points to whatever the health points are minus the bullet damage. And I think we um, set the health points to five and the bullet damage to one. If the health points is less than or equal to zero, if for whatever reason we get less than or equal to zero, then we're gonna kill the second actor, which is the enemy. Okay, so I can go up down. Now, you'll note that I only shot once, which was uh, the bullet damage was one, but he had five health points. Let me change that to 50. Um, I think the reason is because the bullet doesn't explode, so every time it hits the enemy, and if you watch carefully, it goes through the enemy and probably counts as hitting it probably five or six times. Um, so if I were to change this to 50, save it. Two, three, four, five, I'm just gonna... So there's definitely multiple hits going on with that. Um, probably the best way to get rid of that is in the actual behavior um, if the bullet hits an enemy we should destroy the bullet and what this will do let me save that is the 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 first time the bullet hits the enemy the bullet will die so now if we start the enemy with five hit points and the bullet damage of one, one, two, and you can see that bullet stops. It uh, doesn't go through three, four, five, and it goes away. All right, we just won the game. Let's see, um, the enemy dies almost instantly. Why? Yep, that's what we just figured out. 